Well, I'm back on the Coyote Creek Trail. Had to uh, access by this side street, which has no name, not even on the map. And this street is a little bit farther south than where Rod and I left off last time, so I'm walking north for maybe a quarter mile, maybe more, to find the three mile mile post that was the end of our walk several weeks ago. Rod's not with me today. Haven't heard from him. So I'm back here at around 4 p.m. starting out. The temperature's under 80, quite a bit cooler than it was yesterday and the day before. And of course on the trail I was on in uh, the Chico area last weekend, but still pretty warm, almost, almost oppressively warm. And I know I'm going to blab on and on today because I'm by myself, so I'll try to spare you as much as I can, beginning now. Thank goodness it wasn't very far to the three-mile marker. Twelve and a half mile on the other side. Very nice pond over there. And my car is parked near the high-tension uh, power line. Not far away. Probably a hundred yards or so. So now I'm going back to the south, hoping to get at least the three miles in. I have a feeling the trail is going to continue after the three miles is gone, but not sure yet. I'm now getting close to where I started ten minutes ago. There's my car. This is advertised on the highway, Monterey Highway, as a county mobile, or model airplane park. But it doesn't look like it's being kept up. Who could afford that kind of a park these days? Especially considering that it probably had very few users, even when it was new. It was actually closer to 4.30 when I began than 4. And it's 79 degrees. Interesting side path here. Ponds on both sides of the path. Looks like it goes down into a grove that could be a place for picnics or I don't know what. I don't think it would be a good place to fly model airplanes because of the uh, little trees, scrub brush. <laughs> and it looks like over there, a half mile or so farther south, maybe where the actual model airplane park is centered or not, but I noticed that the road parallels the uh, trail here and goes in that direction. So whatever those buildings are, they might be something to do with that park. We will see, Lord willing. Well, I was right in supposing that these buildings are related to the model airplane park. And I was wrong in my earlier supposition that this park probably was not used or maintained. Actually, the grass is mowed over there, and there are three cars here using the park right now. I've seen some aircraft 
going up in the sky, but I was sure that the camera wouldn't catch it even if I tried, so I didn't, and uh, there's nothing up right now as far as I can tell. Looks like that plane back there in the, with the uh, man in the white t-shirt is quite large for a model. This is serious modeling. <laughs> There's another one that's about the same size being carried to the car. Not sure whether the sign means don't stop the airplane if it's flying low by your head or don't stop yourself. They might hit you. I don't see or hear any now. I think they were all packing it in a few minutes ago. Well, it appears that I've walked a mile from the three-mile marker. Didn't seem that far. Has been an interesting mile, and I have a feeling the next two are going to be very interesting, too, as I get close to and probably within of now uh, inside the Morgan Hill city limits. I have no idea what the population of Morgan Hill is. It seems like a small town of four or five thousand, but being California, it's probably more like twenty-five or thirty thousand, or even more. I will check that before I put this online. Well, I'm in the first shade that I've seen on the trail today quite close to the freeway, that is US 101 as usual, the, the Bay Shore as it's called from San Jose up to San Francisco, but down here I think it's called the South Valley Freeway. New pavement here which is very nice to walk on. the trail is winding easterly under the freeway, which is a surprise to me because the freeway pretty much passes Morgan Hill on the east. So this might indicate that the trail never even will take us into Morgan Hill. <coughs> My map app <coughs> suggests that it does take us to Anderson Reservoir, which is somewhere in the hills to the east here. So it's just possible that we will miss the town limits altogether. Right now, Coyote, Coyote Creek is to our right, being our south and our west directions. Can't see the water qu quite from here at all, but the last time I did get a glimpse of it, it was quite wide, more like a river than a creek. Maybe when we're under the highway, we'll be able to see the water. Yes, yeah, quite a bit of water over there. I hear voices behind me, so I'm assuming some bicyclists are approaching. Haven't seen many since I got close to the freeway, and now I'm getting pretty far from the freeway going east.
Uh, not bicyclists, but skateboarders. I have not seen that on any of the trails before now. Not skateboards. I've been gaining elevation, I could tell, for a long, not steep enough to, and now I've come to a little valley. But I have a feeling I'm getting close to the reservoir. Interesting developments here, approaching the Oak West area. Wow, seems to be saying that the trail is no longer paved at this point. And I never did see another mile. Seemed like I had gone more than a mile after the last one. So this is the trail, apparently. Looks like a braille <laughs> mile marker there. <laughs> well, despite the signage, I don't think this is the Coyote, Coyote Creek Trail. I think it's a horse trail because I saw horse droppings and the pavement did turn there. Obviously the skateboard boys didn't go on this trail. Where did they go? Following the pavement, undoubtedly. So that's what I'm going to do now. It's 5.30 now. Been at it for an hour. There's a young man over there doing push-ups on the pavement. <laughs> pavement makes a sharp turn here and there is no indication that this is the trail. Well now maybe there is an indication. That's the trail with the yellow markings. That's the bicycle trail and the Coyote Creek Trail I'm, I'm guessing and betting. I think I was spoiled there. The uh, noises on my camera are not working. So I thought the camera was on when apparently it was not. When I turned it off, then I realized I was turning it on. So some things have been missed. <laughs> That's all I can say about it for now. I'm half mile from the end of the trail. 15 miles from Hellier Park at this point. A few minutes ago I thought that gray patch over there was a parking lot, but now I can see that it's a roof. A roof on something that looks like it might be a horse barn or something like that, or at least a shelter with no walls perhaps, just, just a roof. Here's the creek, very slowly moving. Kind of a picturesque crossing. Quite wooded at this part. I think these white bark trees are sycamores. I think I saw that in the Bitwell Park actually. 
where some of the trees were identified. And lo and behold, here's some of the city of Morgan Hill. There's what looks like a shopping center over there with a Target store. Not sure that's what it is, but it looks like a bullseye, which is Target's trademark. I'm not going to bother working, walking over to read that. Mountain lions live here. Uh-oh. <laughs> So I'm getting close to the end, and it doesn't look like I'm going to see the reservoir. Oh, I can see the spill, the uh, the breast of the dam beyond. Well, I believe that I have come to the zero point. I can't prove it, but I have a feeling this is the park that it originally originated in, and now. It probably goes farther up to the reservoir. Maybe, maybe not. Nice neighborhood right next to it. <clears throat> Mansions alongside the road. Well, I asked a couple of the teenagers that just passed me if they thought that was the end of the trail, and they thought it was. They've apparently bicycled it a number of times. So there never was a good view of the rest of the dam. I think that's what I got a glimpse of, but... Not a good view. Just this little outcropping of Morgan Hill as far as the trail. And on my way back. It's about five minutes till six. So it will be at least 7 o'clock by the time I get back to the car. If I can resist the temptation to keep blabbing on even later than that if I don't. Back at the rest area. Being the only one that's on the trail. I had to stop at least for five minutes to recoup. There's a huge aloe plant there on the bank of the creek. We see them all over California, but that's one of the biggest I've ever seen, and I don't think they're wild-growing plants. That must have been planted there at some time. This appears to be an old ranch that went through a phase as a, as a park, but now the park is pretty much neglected except for the trail. And this must be a mile marker that I missed on my way south. So I've now come a mile from the beginning of the trail. And that means that I have seen all three mile markers now and some half mile markers today.
I just saw that lady with her dog, and she warned me that she saw a snake crossing the trail further on, but she was warning me to keep an eye out. So I'll keep the camera out, too. Well, I saw another sign of a snake. Of course, it could still be ahead of me. But I'm going under the freeway now. It did seem as though locusts started chirping just after she said that. And, of course, locusts and rattlesnakes sound pretty much alike. <laughs> on the bicycle and the wheelchair appear to be from India. Of course, they have real snakes there, cobras, <laughs> king cobras. I didn't see any when I was in India, thank goodness. It probably makes no more sense to be overly cautious for snakes here on the trail than it is to be overly cautious for spiders in the house in both cases. Both types of vermin are probably everywhere. And those noises of locusts that I heard might have very well been rattlesnakes rattling for all I know. But anyway, I'm now only a half mile to three quarters of a mile from the car. The gleam in the distance ahead of me looks like a car that's still at the model airplane park. Which I'm quickly coming up on to. Well, it's two minutes after seven. And it sure seemed uh, tw like twice three-quarters of a mile getting here from where I said it would only be a half mile to three-quarters of a mile. But finally, I'm getting here. <laughs> it's uh, much more comfortable as far as the temperature than it was earlier. Probably must must be down to around 70 now. So that's the end of the Coyote Creek Trail.